Thank you for joining this webinar on creating and managing compounds within Enterprise Online Manager. My name is Joe Cronin and I am a software applications engineer with Alpha Technologies. Compound creation and management are accessed via the Materials tab on the Enterprise home screen. The Materials tab provides the user with the tools to assist in managing materials and their relationships to orders, lots, and batches within Enterprise. As is the case with all the tabs in Online Manager, Selecting the Materials tab presents the user with a row of buttons. The Compound button is the second from the left under the Materials tab. Clicking the button enters Compound Management. Please note that access to the Materials tab and its contents requires user membership in a privileged group that has the appropriate privileges. The Compound Management screen allows you to manage not only compounds, but also compound groups. You may add, edit, or delete compounds and associate a compound with a compound group or specification. Note that this is our basic enterprise compounding functionality. We have an add-on module that expands this feature to include support for mixers, formulations, and additional information. We will cover that add-on module in another webinar. By default, the screen displays a list of compound records sorted by the compound's name, but also sortable by clicking on the header of any of the displayed columns. There is also a search box available to narrow down the list of compounds. The compound list displays 15 entries per page with numbered navigational links and an ellipsis to indicate any additional pages beyond the first 10 at the bottom of the form, as well as a display of the total number of compound records. You may change the number of displayed compounds by using the drop-down menu beside the search button. To add a new compound, simply click the new button at the top of the compound form. This opens the compound editor form. The process begins by entering the compound's name, and the name field allows a maximum of 50 characters. Once you have named the compound, click Save. This is the only step necessary to create a compound record. However, it is likely that you will need or want to enter additional information on the main compound tab. Note also that the name field is marked in red, denoting that this is a required field. Once a name has been entered and the compound saved, the remaining tabs on the edit form will be activated and available for use. The available tabs include the main compound tab, which contains the specific descriptive elements such as name, description, alias, status, and location information. Note that the status dropdown may not be accessible to all users as it is controlled by the compound status change privilege. The user may also mark a compound obsolete, assign a shelf life value in days or weeks, via a drop-down, and mark the compound with a value in the replication field. You may also add or remove compound groups and mark whether the compound is subject to a control plan. Note that the compound may be assigned to a compound group only if the applicable group has already been created. You could elect to create the compound group after the compound has been created and return later to the compound editor for assignment. Also, you may use control click to multi-select items in either the compound group boxes and add or remove several items at once. The specifications tab allows the user to link a specification to the compound as well as set the order of specifications if applicable. Of note is that you may want to create the specification for a compound prior to creating the compound record to allow the spec to be assigned during compound creation. Specifications may be created under the test setup tab in Online Manager. You may also elect to create the compound first without a specification and come back to compound management to assign the specification after one has been created. A list of available specifications will appear in the right column of the specifications area. The user can select the appropriate specs and use the add button to assign them to the compound. The user can also remove specifications using the remove button. Control clicking will allow the user to multi-select the specifications for addition or removal. Once a specification has been added, it can be selected by clicking its name in the left side box. Doing so will display the specification editor for the selected spec in the bottom of the form. The functionality here is identical to that of the specification editor's criteria tab. This allows you to make changes to the specification from within the compound function. Please be aware, however, that changes made here will be applied across all compounds that are linked to this specification. You may elect to change the settings for targets and the minimums and maximums for the variables within the specification. The Trends tab is useful for easily monitoring real-time trends on a particular test. 
the user can select both the sample type via a drop-down menu and the test also via a drop-down menu that they wish to monitor for the current compound from the drop-down list and click the monitor trends button to generate results. The results are presented in a pop-up window displaying the trend for a number of pre-selected variables in relation to previous results with the last dot in each chart representing the most recent result. Moving the mouse over each dot will show information on the identification of the sample tested. The window refreshes automatically with the latest results and the data can be viewed in either trend chart or textual data form. Note that while it is possible to have multiple trend windows open, only the most recently opened trend window will update and all other trend windows will display the same information. Displaying multiple trend windows requires opening multiple browser instances and logging into Enterprise in each of them. The History tab is the final tab on the form. When creating a new compound, the History tab will be empty. As critical changes are made to the compound record over time, they will be logged and available on this tab for review. That completes our webinar on creating and managing compounds within Enterprise Online Manager. Thanks for your time. My name is Joe Cronin. I'm a software applications engineer with Alpha Technologies, and I hope you check out our continuing series of webinars.